Hello and welcome. This video will discuss the state of working mothers in the COVID-19 crisis and how do working mothers hang in there? How are they doing? How are they mentally doing? How are they managing the double, triple and quadruple duty? And what, if anything, can be done about this to help them? My name is Beat Chalet. I'm the founder of The Women's Code, also known as The Growth Architect. And I am in women leadership development, in balanced leadership development, and business development, because I believe that balanced leaders are running great businesses, and great businesses need to be run by great leaders. So one kind of cannot go without the other. So one of the things that's always been super concerning about me, and for those of you who know me, you know I, I used to be a single a single mom of one daughter who is now 27 years old, almost 28. And I struggled through a lot of these trials and tribulations about how do I, how do I work? I'm an entrepreneur. How do I raise my child? How do I do everything by myself? My daughter has an absentee father. That was his choice, not mine. So I always look at working moms as what are we going to do to support them? So the data that I'm seeing is horrible. So there's a, uh, study that just came out and i'm going to just share this with you and the study showed that in uh, a workplace survey by a company called willis towers watson they surveyed about 550 private and nonprofit organizations and they found out that amongst employers with over 100 employees less than one third even have a plan in place to help uh, women to figure out childcare. 50% don't even offer any kind of resources for women. And 66% say that doesn't mean that we have to adjust our performance expectation of the working mothers that we have. And let me just say this, this is really insanity because the expectation on, on working moms, once again, is one of these that women are super women, that for no, no matter what you throw at us, that we can handle it. So how in the world is a working mother managing a full-time job with a remote working from home while she is worrying about the education of her children, which has been tossed on her, while she is now responsible for the athletics of her children, the health you know, all the food, the cooking. I mean, it's not exactly like you can work a full day when your kid's screaming that they're hungry. I mean, they need their snacks, they need their uh, nap time. I mean, these are just regular things that children require. I mean, we can park them anywhere right now. It's on the mom. And the data shows that because of the pay gap between men and women, men out earn women in almost all the cases, meaning that women are now having to scale back to help, again, the husband or the partner or the main earner in the household to, you know, keep that going, which is logical and makes, makes sense, but it always comes at the detriment of women. So once again, women here are at the losing end, and it really, really concerns me. So they, it will have long-term mental uh, issues with women. It will have a detrimental career effect for women because how are you going to even recover from this? I mean, we by the time this is in some sort of shape and form, are we looking at a year of this? And so women are dropping out in record numbers out of the workforce because they can't handle the pressure because they have no childcare. They have no um, there, there's no school, there is no end in sight, they're responsible for absolutely everything. So I want to really open this discussion today and say, how are you managing this? What are you doing? What do, we, what do we need to do? What needs to happen to give you the resources and the help for you to manage this? Thank you so much for watching. I can wait for your comments. Goodbye.